everyone. I would like to ask you to imagine with me that you are on a bus, and the bus stop, and I just got on this bus, and I sat on the seat next to you. And we really like to get to know more about each other. But unfortunately, I have to jump off on the next stop, so we don't have a lot of time. What I'm wondering is, could you share with me three things that defined you as a person? Three things about yourself that are going to help me understanding who you are. Three things go to your essence. Take a moment, think about it. Well, now I'm wondering, out of those three things, is any of them linked to a negative experience that you've been through? Like war survivor, unemployed, abuse victim? <coughs> Ever noticed how we tend to identify ourselves with such a label? For me, the three things could be that I'm an Arab, and a Muslim, and a refugee. Those three labels is more than enough to put me in a bubble in the society where I'm living now. It was that moment when I asked myself the key question, if my life were a book and I were the writer, how did I want the story to go? At that moment, I really felt it just taking over my life. So I told myself, claim your experience and don't let it claim you. But here is the thing. No one can tell me how and what my experience means. I have to decide that myself. That's why I started WE. WE is a young social initiative to promote social inclusion, build bones, and fight xenophobia. As one of the WE project, we have We Are the Refugees. It's a project to raise awareness about the refugee crisis in Europe, targeting the schools, universities, companies, and NGOs all over the Netherlands, with the aim to open a safe zone for interactive dialogue, and in a way to have the ability to have the discussion and the debate on, the sa on their safe zone. We are the elderly. It's a project to facilitate the cultural events for the Dutch elderly people, to convey culture through food, music, and entertainment. We are the label. I am myself a label carrier, and I'm here for the other label carrier in the room, because I'm never the only one. So this project is about sharing life stories for the people who have been negatively labeled by their society. It could be a refugee, it could be the ex-prisoners, it could be the people on wheelchairs, it could be the LGBT groups. This is what this project is about. So what about you? How are you going to find a meaning in your experience? Have you ever thought or asked this question to yourself? Meaning doesn't have to be something huge. We don't need all to start a foundation or write a book or make a documentary. Meaning can be small with a big impact. It could be a decision that we make and we take and it's going to change the, our life in the whole, for the whole future. What about your experience? It could be a recent one, but it also could be one that you have been carrying for a long time ago. It's never too late to change what it means. 
because meaning is a dynamic. Because what it means today will not mean what it means a year from now or 10 years from now. It's never too late to become someone more, more than just a label. Can you hear how hectic this word sounds? A refugee, a wheelchair, refugees. No movement, no growth. What if people decide to climb their labels as an experience and don't take it as an identity? Maybe it would be the beginning to start defining ourselves but who we have become and who we are becoming. Okay, here is my stop. It's been a short journey, but I'm really glad that we've been on all this journey together. And maybe when I just stand here, probably for some of you, I was only the Arab, the Muslim, and a refugee. But hopefully by now, you know I'm not only that. I'm much more than that. I'm a successful entrepreneur, a free thinker, and a change maker. And most importantly, I'm Adele. Thank you very much. Yeah.